Big Chewy Nerds return with Sour today on the Candy Isle. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another review. My name is Jeff, and today I have a review of the Sour Big Chewy Nerds. It was it was just a scant one month ago that I first saw the Big Chewy Nerds on the shelf, um, and uh, I had to get them because, you know, who doesn't love nerds? And um, it's a nerd gummy, which is great. So, yeah, I, I had them. I reviewed them. And I got to say, best candy I've had, best new candy I've had in quite a while. Um, so I was thrilled when I saw the sour Big Chewy Nerds on the shelves this week. Very, very exciting. I gave the regular Big Chewy Nerds a full five out of five. Will the sour live up to it? I certainly hope so. I am expecting big things here. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll say this. I really, really enjoyed the Big Chewy Nerds. So hopefully the sour version is just as good. Let's see what we got here. Sweet and crunchy outside. Sour and chewy inside. Great, huh? Yep. Sour Big Chewy Nerds. Sour Big Chewy Nerds are sour and sweet. Four shocking flavors that you'll love to eat. Strawberry, lemonade, blue raspberry too. Blood orange and watermelon. They will delight you. They'll all delight you, sorry. I didn't even realize that rhymed until I was halfway through it. Um, we got watermelon, blue raspberry, strawberry lemonade, and blood orange. Look at that. Very exciting. Here's your... Info, schminfo, guys, your nutritional facts and ingredients. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I believe, if I'm remembering rightly, the regular Big Chewy Nerds had strawberry, uh, lemon, orange, and a grape. Four flavors. These ones also are four flavors. I bet the strawberry lemonade, that's maybe, this is probably going to be the sweetest, but they're sweet and sour. So like, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, Sour Patch Kids or something. And look at that. As I said last time, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, like a bag full of fruity pebbles. This one is a little more muted though. The other one had really bright, bright colors with the yellows and the orange. Um, this is definitely more muted. This is like the berry version of Fruity Pebbles. Is that a thing? Berry Pebbles? That's totally a thing, right? I think so. I don't know. I never eat Fruity Pebbles. I should, though. I'm sure I'd like them. Okay. So we got uh, we got our four flavors here. Blood Orange, Strawberry, Watermelon, and Blue Raspberry. Start with the Blue Raspberry, how about? This is what they are, if you did not see the previous review of the other version of these. Um, I was a little worried that they would just have sour power powder on them. So sorry, what does it say here? It says it says here that they're sweet and crunchy outside and sour and chewy inside. So I guess the sour is just on the inside gummy. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, um, in in a way that's good because you know it kind of bugs me <laughs> when I'm reviewing. Sour stuff that's just like coated, drenched in sour powder. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Like with a Sour Patch Kid, you know, it's pretty manageable. But uh, other times it is a big hassle. So let's try this. Mm. Here's your inside. You can basically just see. It's pretty much just thin outer layer. And that's kind of what you would classically have is like the nerds is like it's outer layer and then gummy on the inside. Oh man. Hold on. I got to eat like three <laughs> for science guys. <laughs> hmm. I just want to get a good flavor blast here. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Hmm, I like. Um, the, <coughs> sorry. The great thing about these, like the other ones that you're going to notice right away, thin outer shell, 
Great gummy, great gummy texture, consistency on the inside. Really, really like that. Um, yeah, big, big fan of that. Definitely. So, uh, texture consistency, absolutely on par with the regular, uh, big chewy nerds, which is fantastic. The blue raspberry flavoring, um, it's, uh, good. I don't think it's great. Um, the level of sour, you know, to be completely frank, like lots and lots of sour candy does a pretty bad job of sour. Uh, I don't think this is great, but it's certainly not bad. Um, there's no way I would compare this to like a Sour Patch Kid. I, I mean, the crunch and texture of that outer shell is great. And the chew of the gummy is not unsimilar to the way a Sour Patch could choose. However, the um, Sour Patch Kid, in my opinion, is like the all-time master of balancing the sour and the sweet. This, like that, airs on the side, a little bit on the side of sweet, I would say. Um, I don't know that the sour is exactly what I'm... I, I don't think it really... Uh, it doesn't hit as well as it should, maybe. At least with the blue watermelon flavor. I wonder if that's just a flavor thing. Let's try the um, strawberry lemonade. Mmm. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, okay. Now, that's an interesting combo. The lemon in the lemonade, the lemonade sort of flavoring... Um, has a lot of natural sour in it. The strawberry, I mean, I'm sure that's why you combine these flavors, right? The strawberry kind of cuts that and evens it a bit. But I think because that there's so much natural um, sour in this, um, it comes together pretty well with this one. I do like this flavor. And the sour definitely pops a bit more on this. Whether that's good or bad, you know, I don't know. I think that may be just a case of personal preference. Um, still, it's, <laughs> I think I prefer if it was just straight sweet. Let's try the watermelon. Whew. <clears throat> Classically, not one of my favorite flavors, but it usually fits well into a sour skew. And thank goodness, I always prefer watermelon to a green apple. Sorry, I know that green apple is like the best, a lot of people, but... It is just not for me. Honestly, the flavor is a little lost here. Like, this one has a little too much sour in it. No, I'm not feeling that at all. Don't like it. I don't hate it, but man, it's not doing anything for me, really. All right, let's move on to the blood orange. Another sometimes, sometimes sort of cameo appearance made by blood orange in uh, sour skew candy. Definitely an interesting one. Let's uh, give her a whirl. Oh, okay. Huh. And blood oranges have that real, like, it's almost like a meaty sort of orangey flavor, right? Real deep notes in them. 
<laughs> Weirdly, I would never have pegged it if you had asked me off the top, but I think the blood orange is the best. Strikes the best balance between the um, sweet and the sour. Again, citrus, lots of natural sourness in it. Complements the flavor. So the extra hit of sour in here fits. So I would say blood orange, then the strawberry lemonade, probably then the blue raspberry, then the watermelon. But both of those are kind of meh, especially like, you know, I, I don't think they're for me. I do think there's probably someone out there that they're for, but it's not me. Um, overall, this is very good. I still really love the texture, consistency, packaging, the way this is all sort of presented and put together. I think it's a, a great addition to the nerds family. I think this is definitely something you should seek out. If you're a sour fan, try this. But uh, I still clearly think that the Big Chewy Nerds original is the superior skew of the Big Chewy Nerds. Um, I got to recommend this still. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Very, very strong. Um, but I just, I just think that the other one is put together a little better overall. So good work, uh, Ferreira, on uh, you know doing doing just some good innovative stuff with nerds. Um, I really dig it. Have you guys had a chance to try this yet? Have you seen it in your stores? Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, if you prefer the sour big chewy nerds or the traditional big chewy nerds. If you if you happen to try them both. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you all next time. So long, everyone. Bye-bye.